Hello, I'm Didier Stevens, a senior handler with the Internet Storm Center. Now here we are going to look at a PowerShell script that contains a, a payload and that payload has been encrypted with uh, AES. And I'm going to show you how you can use my tools to decrypt this PowerShell script. So here we have the script and you can see already two base64 strings. So you have this string here that is uh, converted to binary data CFII. And if you go looking down here for CFII, you see that it is assigned to something with the property key. So this is the key in base64. And here we have another base64 string, so that must be the encrypted payload. As you can see here, we have AS managed, a block size of 128, a padding mode PKCS7. The mode is the code book uh, chain, and the key size 256. And this is indeed the payload here, because the initialization vector is actually taken from the first 16 bytes of this decoded base64 string, as you can see here. And then the decryption is done here with the remaining bytes. Huh? So the bytes after the 16 first bytes. And once the decryption is done, then it is also decompressed and uh, gzip decompressed. So we are going to look at this and how to do this. So first of all, with base64 dump, I'm going to search here for base64 strings in my example partial script, and I have many of them, because of course you have keywords that resemble base64, and are syntactically valid base64 strings, but they are not encoding anything. So to have less of those strings, you can say, for example, the minimum length of the decoded string must be 20. And then we only have our two base64 strings. Now I'm going to select this payload and pipe it into my translate program and give it a small script to do the decryption. And this is the small script. So I import some crypto functions and then I have here my small decryption uh, function which just takes the data. So the initialization vector is first 16 bytes of the data and the ciphertext which has to be decoded, decrypted, are the remaining bytes. The key is base64 decoded from a variable key base64. And this is a variable we are going to pass along with the command line. And then here we create a new AES decryption uh, function, uh, an AES object with a key, a mode, and an initialization vector. And then here we do the decryption and the unpadding. So let's take this key. This is the base64 key that we are going to pass along with the command line. So Here I select the second stream, the second base64 stream. I dump in this and I pipe this into my translate program. And so there is an expression, a Python expression that we are going to pass along. And that's the key, key base64 equals this base64 string that we copied. Then we are going to pass it along a, a script, 
that's the decrypt and uh, script. A full read, we operate on the full uh, data that is passed along from base 64 string, so not byte per byte, but on the full data. And then we just call the decrypt function like this. And this here is actually the decrypted payload. Why is it not readable? Well, that's because it is also compressed. We have to decompress it. So I can do that again with translate, full read, and then gzip decompression. And here we have our small payload. This is a test. Now let me come back here. I show you if I modify the key, the uppercase Q here, let's make it a lowercase Q. And now you can see here we have a padding error. That's because the decryption failed. What we have is not actually clear text. And then when we try to do the unpadding, then we get an error. So that's how you can recognize when you are using uh, the wrong key.